perfect square a perfect square always ends with a perfect square always end always has odd number of factors if a number is a perfect square the number of factors for that number will always be odd a perfect square always has odd number of factors a perfect square always has odd number of factors if a number has got odd number of factors then the number will definitely be a perfect square reverse is also true if the factors are odd then the number will be a perfect square if a number is a perfect square it will always have odd number of factors a students might ask me the proof this is the proof suppose if i take 16 16 is nothing but 2 power 4 16 is 4 into 4 if i multiply a number by itself it will become a perfect square 16 is 2 power 4 now listen carefully what are the factors of 2 power 4 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 now listen carefully any perfect square any perfect square the power will always be an even number you take any perfect square 64 is 2 power 6 81 is 3 power 4 if a number is a perfect square power will be an even number if it is an even number i will start from 0 Two power zero to two power four. One, two, three, four, five. So what will be the answer? Five. That means if the power is an even number from zero to even number, I will get odd number. That is the reason. If a number is a perfect square, it will always have odd number of factors. Again, I am repeating. Karna. Suppose if I take nine. Nine is nothing but three square. Three square factors of nine are one, three, nine. How many we are getting? Three power zero, three power one, three power two. Totally, how many cases I am getting? Three cases. Because the power is an even number, zero to even number will be an odd number. A perfect square. A perfect square. always has odd number of factors if a number is a perfect square it will always have odd number of factors this is theory now let me create a question to explain this theory i hope it is clear right if a number if a number has got odd number of factors then it is a perfect square if it is a perfect square then the number of factors will always be odd this is a concept this is a concept please listen to this live class only for concepts no jimmicky ka jimmicky questions no substandard useless formulas i believe formula is derived from the logic logic is never derived from the formula i will always tell my students advise my students to go through logic more than a formula now listen carefully question first i will solve second you will solve how many natural numbers how many natural numbers less than 65 how many natural numbers less than 65 has odd number of factors how many natural numbers 
less than 65 has odd number of factors. If you don't know the concept, then you will not be able to solve this question. What is that concept we discussed? The number should have odd number of factors. What is that number that will have odd number of factors? That number will be a perfect square. That number will be a perfect square. How many perfect squares are there less than 65? 1 square, 2 square, 3 square and so on up to 8 square. These are all perfect square. Totally how many natural numbers less than 65 will have odd number of factors? Answer will be 8. Now the root cause of this problem. Whenever you are solving any aptitude or a max problem, please identify how many natural numbers less than 65. Right. How many natural numbers less than 65 has odd number of factors? Right. Sanchit, you need to find out what is the meaning of Kanna. So from now onwards, Sanchit, I am going to call him as Kanna. Kanna, is it clear? Right. Kanna is an affectionate word. Right, Sanchit. Next. Second question. Second question. I hope it is clear, right? Now, instead of less than 65, if I replace the question as less than 120, tell me beta. Less than 120 means 1 square, 2 square, 3 square and it goes on up to 10 square. 11 square is 121. 1 to 10, answer will be 10. I hope it is clear. Suppose if I replace the question, this is what I do whenever I write any exam. Take a question and change the question. How many natural numbers greater than 80 and less than 120? How many natural numbers greater than 80 and less than 120 has odd number of factors? What will be the perfect square just greater than 80? 9 square is 81. 10 square is 100. 11 square is 121. 121 is greater than 120. How many natural numbers greater than 80, less than 120 will have odd number of factors. It is 9 square into 10 square. Can I discuss a very high quality question? Can I discuss a very high quality question? Right? Can I take a high quality question? I hope it will not be a bouncer to all the viewers. Now I am expecting an answer, yes or no. Right. So Deepak says yes. Right. Unnati, yes. Sai Vikas, yes. Right. I can go to the very, very highest level of question, sir. I am starting from the basics. Now, take a question. Question. Very, very good, interesting, absolute clarity of concept to solve this question. There is a natural number n. There is a natural number n. This natural number has got some factors. Let us call it as x factors. I squared this natural number. If I square this natural number, I got some factors which I will call it as y. y factors. Question is x plus y equivalent to 34. x plus y equivalent to 34. Find the nature of n. Find the nature of n. Perfect square, perfect cube, odd number, even number, like there are options. I am not interested in options. We will try to make use of options only after knowing the concept in detail. Now see, look at carefully. Kanna, Sanjit, for you. N is a natural number. Number of factors are X. I squared it. I got Y factors. X plus Y is 34. Better, Suno. 34 is even number. 34 is even number. n square is a perfect square. Just now we discussed if the power is an even number, then the number is a perfect square. 
this is a perfect square every perfect square will have odd number of factors every perfect square will have odd number of factors that means the nature of y is odd nature of y is odd why because n square is a perfect square something plus odd is even that something will be an odd number odd plus odd only will give you even x is odd y is odd 34 is even y will be odd because y is the number of factors for n square something plus odd is even that something is odd when will you get the number of factors odd when the number is a perfect square what is the nature of n n is definitely a perfect square n is definitely a perfect square right any student who wants to know what is this number when we discuss high quality questions we'll discuss one such number is 2 square into 3 square so if i square it 2 power 4 into 3 power 4 5 5 are 25 3 3 are 9 25 plus 9 is 34 now because it is an advanced level question i will repeat this question again i will identify the root cause of the problem first let me read the question n is a natural number natural number has x factors i squared it if i squared it i got an y factors x plus y is 34 find the nature of n now listen carefully beta 34 is an even number this is the first step second n square is a perfect square a perfect square will always have odd number of factors so y is odd something plus odd is even that something should be odd something should be odd x number of factors is odd if the number of factors is odd then the number will become a perfect square so the nature of n will be a perfect square nature of n will be a perfect square i hope it is clear a perfect square always has odd number of factors that we discussed reverse also we discussed if the number of factors are odd then the number is a perfect square <laughs>